Let's see if this thing will fire up. We may have ran it out of gas the other night. Didn't realize the fuel pump was on a uh, light switch, so it ran the whole trip up here. I don't know. trucks said I prefer the older body style but I just they're just pretty cool say hello to our new farm truck or new to us farm truck. It's a 1981 Chevy Love 4WD. For those of you who don't know us very well, we have a special place in our hearts for these little trucks. Um, this one here is going to take a little bit of work. As you can see, the we're going to have to reroute the fuel line so it's not just dragging on the ground. Actually hook it up to the tank, plumb the tank all up, get it going. Uh, right now it runs and drives on a fuel tank strapped to the frame. Uh, we're going to need a new set of tires. I'd always wanted some super swampers, but I had hoped that they might have more tread on it than what these do. These are kind of old and hard and wore out pretty bad, so we'll be getting those on it. The, uh, the outside of the truck will be the most work. The interior on this thing is it's next to mint. I mean you couldn't you couldn't ask for any better of an interior. Somebody had already uh they did all the all the mods before us so we don't have to worry about it. They uh made easy access into the glove box so you're not always trying to open it up. They have all the extra wiring to hook a stereo system up. They put racing gauges in it, so they even went as far as to do some weight reduction in the floorboards. It uh, it allows, like when you're driving down the highway at 50 mile an hour in the summertime with your windows down, it allows the air to escape the cab a little bit quicker, and it takes some weight off the truck. So it just really peps them up and just makes them feel like a whole new, a whole new machine. But uh, we'll get the outside all dressed up where it'll match the inside. We'll do a little bit of uh shining and buffing on it they even put a fancy front bumper on it we'll probably be throwing a winch on there and bolting it down trying to find a grill for it they at least went far enough to uh, put a piece of angle iron behind the bumper whether it's attached to the frame or not I couldn't tell you but it stiffens the bumper up anyway so we'll be trying to find out about that and then see if we can't round up a a Badlands winch and stick on it. So we'll try and find a grill, headlight bezels, and uh, like I said, the paint. We'll be doing some little bit of buffing and shining on the paint, bringing it around a little bit. It's just a little bit, a uh, little bit sun baked, but that'll come back around. And I'd like to try and find some new decals to put back on it. Or might end up just taping them and painting them on there. I'm not sure. We'll figure that part of it out when we get there. But we're excited for this little truck. We'll be throwing a flatbed on it with a lumber rack and using it to haul logs and lumber and supplies up to some of the cabin sites that are too narrow to get a full-size truck up and down. 
this little thing will scamper up and down just about anything you put in front of it. It does have an open diff front and back, which is unfortunate, but on the other hand, the horsepower in them are literally such a small amount that they don't hardly turn the tires, and so they're hard, they're hard to get stuck. Um, growing up, I had one that I welded the rear diff in, and that thing would, oh man, it would tackle anything you put in front of it. But we'll be getting in here. The torsion bars are cranked up a little stiff on this one. We'll have to we'll have to lighten them up a little bit and allow it to actually flex. They uh, they have a little 1.8 liter Isuzu four cylinder in them. A little four speed manual transmission. I believe the axles are an Isuzu. I want to say they're a 10 bolt on the rear and a 8 bolt on the front. The newer ones, I want to say, had a 12 bolt in the rear and a 10 bolt on the front, but this is the old, this is the older style. But uh, it'll do just fine for what we're wanting to do it for. Um, out of all the years of playing with these things, and I mean a lot of years of playing with them, I've never actually tore a rear end out of one. This this is the first out of three that we're bringing in. We've already got one. It's a 78 four-wheel drive. And uh, it's one that I have did quite a bit of work to. I'd put a 2.6 out of an Isuzu Rodeo in it and converted it to a Weber carburetor and did a lot of work to it. It's a lot of fun, but it eats transmissions pretty bad. And uh, we got this one and then we have a uh, 80 model old body style coming that's a basket case flatbed but we'll be doing quite a bit of work to it and I may get a picture of it and try and insert in this video I'm not sure and then we have a 77 or 76 parts truck that comes with it and uh, we'll be trying to get them hauled in and piecing together a couple of a couple of good farm trucks this one's going to need some ball joints and tie rod ends and everything it's got a good amount of ground clearance for for such a little truck and like I said we'll just kind of run through tighten everything back up replace anything that's worn too bad and we might even convert it to power steering because we will be running in the woods we'll see what the what the clutch feels like Over here is the fuel pump. The pedal itself feels great, but uh, I don't know if you can see down there. There we go. Metal feels phenomenal, but the clutch doesn't start letting out to right there. And that's like right there's where it starts engaging, and that's full extension. So we will be doing a clutch.
give it a little bit of a tune up and we'll uh, get some bearing and let it down go. Let's see if we can't free them. Free them rings up a little bit. Got a little mist right there. some air in this back tire and then, uh, believe it or not the heater works on this thing it smells like the heater core might be leaking a little bit but uh, it works This is what we're after today. It'll, uh, it'll be a parts truck, more or less. Or uh, some of the other. It's rough. It's got rust. Floorboards are gone. The motor has set. It's got the valve cover on it right now, but the motor has set for years without the valve cover on it, and it's completely locked up. It's banged and bruised. It's got rust. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. It's got rust all over in the front aprons. But it is a parts truck. We'll be using parts off of this to put together our basket case. It's sitting back here. putting this one together this one actually runs and drives well it did but uh, it needs uh, we'll have to go through and do some ball joints tie rods stuff like that but uh, it's it's got some floorboard issues that we'll be taking care of and then cab had been caved in. I don't know if we'll be able to see it. Nah, can't really see it. We'll show you later. Anyway, we're going to take these two trucks. You can see the rot in the rocker. The back of the frame was rotted, so it was bobbed. Had a little mini flatbed built. Anyway, we're going to take these two trucks and we'll put them together. We'll build one more truck for the, uh, said so these loves, we'll be using them for just getting around on the farm, hauling materials up and down to the cabins, and a few other things like that. Pick up the two-wheel drive love. And haul it back, and then we'll be back. We'll have to move. We'll have to move that C50 to get to the to get to the four wheel drive flatbed love. But well, while we're here, we're going to go outside and take a look at this old one ton. We're going to be looking and seeing about this old uh, GMC one ton. It needs a whole lot of work, as you can see from the wiring harness here. When they remove the bed off of it, they uh, 
kind of yanked the wire and harness and tore it up pretty severely. Installed a bunch of the fuses out of the interior. Pretty much all the fuses out of the interior are gone. Um, somebody started taking the steering column apart. And they stole the alternator off of it and everything. But we're going to take a look at it and see if this whole thing would be worth dragging in and using for a pulling truck. It's an 05 or 04 Duramax, one ton, two wheel drive. It's pretty rough, but for the money, it may be worth dragging in. We'll just have to wait and find out. Mm -hmm. 